good everyone, and welcome back to Napoleon Total War with a Great War mod. Last time around, we... well, we ended up doing two battles, but we ended off, I believe, on relieving the siege of um, Latvia. Now, that was a pretty hard battle, and I lost tons of troops. And I decided afterwards that I was going to abandon the province. However, since then, I have been thinking I will be able to replace the troops in the area by four... Every two turns, I'll be churning out four infantry units. And the Russians don't actually have that many troops close by. So I think we're actually going to stick it out here um, and replace the army bit by bit. I still have about a thousand troops and two uh, units of artillery ready to defend the area. So rather than lose this area, we'll hold on to it. Um, right. With that, the battle we're going to do today is the one over here. So we're going to defeat the French under the command of uh, Joseph Joffrey. There's um, really one other army the French have that w I'm slightly worried about, or actually two now when I remember it. Although I'm not too worried about this one, but it's going to cause an upset by most likely taking this province. Um, hopefully though, I'll be able to maneuver in s some form of fashion to actually be able to win this battle and then the last concentration the French have is down here where I ended up burning everything down and they're not even building it back up in a good fashion because they're building one artillery and then a local bank instead. I guess they're strapped for cash but they won't be able to recruit that many good troops and once that's done they're reduced to just being on Corsica. Um, the bloody bastards, which I'll imagine they're quickly run out of money and will have uh, constant revolutions going on on that tiny, uh, tiny island. Um, but let's not linger too much. Let's go ahead and attack. So I am pretty confident here. Got a almost a full stack against their full stack, and I imagine they do not have that many dangerous units to spring against me. Lots of infantry, so they have about 300 men more than me, colonial marines, chasseurs, artillery, I outnumber them in, uh, in artillery, which is the, really the p important one, the game changer. Nothing more to be said. Let's go ahead and fight them, shall we? Pretty straightforward here. What I am going to do is we're going to march straight at them, blast them with artillery and so on. But what I have done is I've put my army, I'm going to put it slightly more to my left side so that I can outflank them on the left. And then I'm not going to move further um, to the right than here. So I'm going to set up troops in the forest to hold this area and then with all the troops on the left we're gonna swing at the French and uh, kind of bring them up through that side and I've concentrated my cavalry on this side so I will be out m maneuvering their lances and to protect against cavalry attack on the right I've hidden the Jaegers right here so that's the plan with that, let's go ahead and enact it. So we're going to move up as quickly as possible. And then the cavalry will be moving up. Oh, the um, enemy kind of responds by doing the same. Kind of moving towards the uh, edge as well. Huh, interesting. Or they... Yeah, they were... Doing that... Oh. 
I don't like the artillery, that the artillery is set up in that way because that kind of faces where my cavalry is now setting up. And I was hoping, I was hoping to lock down quite a bit of French troops fighting towards this wood. And then be able... To destroy most of them here in the open. Right, looks good as it is. The lancers running straight into our fire. And getting destroyed. And soon, so are these rifles. Ah. Enemy artillery firing on my cavalry. Do not like that. However, we have more or less destroyed their artillery pieces. The enemy are now slowly marching to their death all across the line. Some return fire here. I don't like the fact that they're targeting my cavalry. I was hoping to uh, charge them in. Right, I'm going to push the cavalry through here and then we're going to come at these guys from the side. Oh, they're turning to face the cavalry. I'm hoping I'll get... Looks like the heavy guard cavalry might just get absolutely shot to pieces here. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! Mm, not too bad. Not as bad as I thought it might have gone. My artillery should still focus on their artillery. But then I want to soften up. I actually hit the, that one. These two are mixed in with each other. Should do quite good damage. Looks fine on along my line. Not too bad. Units in the forest are doing fine. My Jaegers should meet with those rifles out there. They've got cavalry now trying to um, push through here. We've got up the side 10th Hussars. Moving against our cavalry, we'll have a pistol battle. As the um, two units of heavy cavalry will be moved to dealt deal with them. Right. Really what I want to do is I want to send in the cavalry to storm part of the battle line and destroy it. And as soon as we've dealt with these guys, that is what I think we'll do. I think we're actually better off charging here. In a prolonged pistol fight, I imagine we'll do just about the same damage as the Hussars. But in an actual charge will do a lot better because it's heavy guard cavalry against this one hussar unit and in the meantime the enemy's uh, infantry is slowly being whittled down are you fine yeah you good a glorious victory sir is so I want to focus there. now on the units that could Possibly upset the cavalry charge. You haven't won this yet. We've lost. We've lost almost half of both cavalry units. Can't say I'm very impressed by the guard cavalry here. We'll um, line it up. We got two units mixed in with each other. That's a perfect target. I want artillery concentration on that. You guys done yet? There's only five of them left. Go on. Kill them off. Quickly. There we go. Right. Now I want to do the cavalry charge from back here. Moving in, taking these out. 
Are they concentrating everyone towards the woods? Are they? We've got plenty of troops. There's some units that have lost quite a bit of men. So, like this one. I thought this one was going to be the one that was protected because it was in the woods. Hurry. Oh, they're tired. That's not good. I'm impatient. Move directly. And you know, oh, the entire French army is about to collapse. All infantry forward. Artillery hold fire. We're actually focused on the one that's out of bounds with the rest of the units. And then we're looking at a massive bayonet attack. And these guys are focusing on shooting down the troops from the front. And they completely missed the cavalry charge. It's coming up the rear. And there we have it. Quickly, the French army is uh, entirely broken. So really, the, the biggest threat the French had left is now gone. Let's see if we can't deal with the other army as well. Here's the result. We deployed equal amount, roughly, with the me deploying 2,700, roughly, with uh, the enemy deploying 3,000. They lost more or less everything, with only 60, 165 remaining, while I lost 830, meaning I've almost have 2,000 men left. Highest kills goes to field gun, followed by infantry field gun, and then we have guard cavalry with 177. Very good. Oh, the... wait, what? That's quite a lot of units to survive out of that. Bastards. I was hoping I'd be able to uh, advance right after that as soon as bloody possible. Also, I should really be recruiting troops to replace all these troops. So, tons of the new infantry should be recruited everywhere. But this is the one I'm looking at right now. This one or this one. We'll see. But first, we need to enter. We've got a new researcher in France. What are you good at? Cheeky roast, cautious, and pious. Okay, so nothing that actually adds to his ability to do research. Right, you'll stay in that one. Path blocked for the crown prince. So the laying siege rather than attacking, so that's good. Gives me time to save it. Aircraft detected. Workers on riot in France. No surprise that the fringe are uh, rioting. I would be surprised if they didn't. Uh, stuff being built. And then this guy. So just as I thought, they weren't, they aren't really have any, they don't really have any troops and they're not really sending any troops this way. So, I'm, pr oh, there's, huh. There, I discovered something. So there are troops on the way, but they're quite far away. At best, it will take maybe two turns, maybe three. By that time, I'll have another four out, I think. Plus, we've got troops being recruited over here. A lot of it needs to be infantry to start off with, but then... Assault Pioneers, pretty darn good. I've seen the new explosion, it's massive. So definitely want to have some of that. 
And then all the armies around here in France need to need new troops. So everywhere I can, I should be getting I might be too far away. But definitely extra troops in Paris. We're gonna close in here. Hmm, maybe let's see. I think this fight will be more interesting actually. So we've lost just a handful of troops. I think it's better than to wait for these guys to arrive. Because we've just lost... I mean, we've lost four of these guys. Which are the only really troops that we're concerned about losing. All this cannon for they're not so much. Hopefully I get a good town where I can set the troops up in houses and stuff. Just to bulk the enemy down. But looks like we're not going to play this fight, this video. Instead, we're going to go for this fight over here. Um, so let's jump straight into it. What I'll do after that is, you know, set up recruitment and stuff. Let's go ahead and relieve the siege. So the only real force that could possibly do s upset my plans is about to get destroyed by the Prince of Bavaria. Little bit of a different strategy this turn because I can't see where the enemy is. But I've set up my artillery. They're going to be protected by the Jaeger unit. I think that's enough. And then all the infantry will move to seize this hill. Which is the highest point on the map. And then from up here we'll be able to shoot down at the French. With that said, let's go ahead and start the battle. By sending all the troops a great haste to take position on the hill. Important thing, of course, is to kill off the enemy's artillery. They only have one piece. I will focus everything on that. The enemy seems to be moving towards uh, the artillery, which could be a problem, but. Um, I'm more concerned about taking control of the hill, so we'll be able to take the forest. I'll send these three units, divert them more towards that side, and given that the enemy is moving heavily towards here, I'm gonna send more troops that way. We've got plenty of cavalry coming up through the back here, so I'm gonna send them over the right here. Okay, the enemy cavalry is closing in. What I'll do is I'll send these two forward. But this one will hold. And this one will hold. And these will hold there. And then the other two here. Now some French units are moving this way. Hurry to get into position. Very few of the artillery is left. What I want to focus on then... Let's quickly just break down the enemy's um, cavalry so that we can advance. Oh, my cavalry is under attack. And I lost about half of them due to that. What I can do is I can actually set a concentration here. Let's get the general up here. Concentration here. Hold the Glorious enemy victories, huh? with these it's troops. Concentration here. Bayonet charge up through here. Combined with cavalry attack. So the cavalry is going to come in. I'll set two units. Actually, lances here. Dragoons set to move over here. So hold your fire because you'll probably just shoot each other. General, they have to support and then these troops to fire on these as they approach my general should hold fire as well inspire and then we go and then the cavalry should be moving in roughly at the same time Little bit mismatch in speed there. So they won't arrive in time, but the uh, 
the chasseurs are sent off. The French unit over here was sent off. And we'll continue. Then we'll send in both of these. As they're now firing into the advancing troops. Cavalry forward. Here comes the lances to end the uh, chasseurs. They were holding on a bit too long there. Cavalry is doing their part over here. These two moving forward. I need you to move a little bit m further forward in the... Uh, in the woods here actually we'll hold actually we'll hold you but you will be thrown in to the melee fight over there general close by you'll continue on in this same with the lances hold fire you'll probably just end up shooting each other it's taking quite a while to get all of these down push into these before they start shooting General close by to support with morale. Are these... Yeah, they're turning around to shoot my cavalry now. Cavalry pull back. But this might be able to open up for the lancers. Now the this unit opens up. Fire. That's not good. Yeah. That's not good at all. Oh, I was saved by the fact that they... Decided to reform. But the lancers won't stand in a prolonged fight. So they're just going to charge in and then leave. And then I'm going to send them away. Are you guys done over here? There's still plenty of French. 62 French soldiers over here. Artillery. Focusing on the units closest. French are doing surprisingly high amount of damage here. Cavalry. We have enough cavalry, I think, to be able to blast through all of this. And now there's only about 20 or so enemies left here. I'll order them to move forward. I'll move the general up. Once the uh, my troops have passed... Then I'll order the general to be firing at will. Oh, there goes the cavalry charge in. Followed now by very tired the troops. And then the general can shoot away. down what's left here. And there we have it. The French forces are retreating. The only one that stands right now is the general. And now even he gives up. As he was overwhelmed. I'll send the cavalry to uh, end all the retreating troops. I don't want to see a similar thing happen to what happened over... Uh, over... Um, at uh, Alsace-Lorraine region. I don't want any army to retreat and set up again after this. Jaegers will hold fire and so will actually all the units here. But there we have it. We destroyed all the French troops. Bayonet charges not that useful though. I think we lost a lot of troops. I guess it because they get tired or um yeah, this yeah they get tired compared to the French troops, and that's why we probably lose more than we kill compared to shooting. But there we have it, victory. So the battle turned out pretty poorly, in fact, because it was described as a perfect victory, but just because the if you look at the losses. The enemy out of their 2,000 men army lost about 2,000, but I, in comparison, I, or they lost 1,800 while I lost 1,250 roughly. So it's not that far apart, and also given that I outnumber them by about 1,400 men. 
So, yeah, the charge, not very successful, to say the least. I guess because we got tired, so... Maybe the first, the first charge, I'd say, worked. It, that worked. But the subsequent, in keep charging, that was took its toll on my troops. So I should have just stayed on the hill and shot the rest of the enemy. Same with the cavalry charges. I could probably have just sent the dragoons up to the original line of the French and set up behind them, use their own trench lines against them, having the dragoons cut off the French retreat back to their um, defensive line. As we see here, it's most we've got infantry in the top, followed by field guns, infantry field guns, light howitzer, Bavarian... Jevalier turning up here, lost 44, managed to inflict 86 casualties, and not that many. Jaegers lost 3 men, shot down 70. Dragoons lost... My Dragoons lost 142 men, where in which only 18 remain, and they were able to kill 50. Ulans lost 104 men, and killed 26. Yeah, the uh, age of cavalry is definitely over. Ah, oh, of course. Of course, the unit bloody well survives. I, this cavalry unit is... has num the numbers, and it's close enough to send out. Should drag in the rest as reinforcement. There we go. The interesting thing is, you always get more trains for outer resolve than when you play the battle. That little outer resolve. We had a huge battle with lots of movements, charging, gunfire, and everything, but then riding down the what, 150 or so men that enemies that survived the battle, ran away tired, hungry, and you know everything's gone wrong for them, um, hiding somewhere in the woods, finding them and destroying them afterwards. That gave him the ancillary of artillerists and attacking general. I mean, I shouldn't complain, at least he's getting uh, trained, so that's good. Extra artillery campaign movement range, 2%. I don't know how much 2% actually does for the artillery. Usually all those added all those add-ons are usually so insignificantly small that they don't really matter. 2% on whatever. So if this to this is 100 points, then you gain 2% that would be 2 points extra. So it's just a little bit extra there. That doesn't mean anything. It's a useless. Why even bother? Anyways, more troops to be recruited. I seem to have uh, got an Jaeger snuck in there. For now, it's just going to start with infantry. Or maybe I did choose that Jaeger. Was that one turn Jaeger? Did I just remove uh, field artillery? We need some of those. For the new guns, Belgians might have machine guns, should have our own mortars possibly, who knows. Right, with that I'm gonna end it right here. So, we learned some lessons with charges and other stuff, pretty aggressive battles, so I hope you liked it. But with that said, I say as I always say, Hopefully, you guys enjoy this, and hopefully, I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!
the man of fatigue, sir, I must be. 